Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Spiritual Generation 11. I hope y'all been taking care of yourself, loving yourself, loving others, learning new knowledge, and teaching new knowledge. All right, y'all. In this video, I'm going to talk about Generation Z, or also known as the generation that we are in now, or the generation of the millennials. Okay. All right. What I see is a lot of people in my age group, okay, I'm 26 as of right now, and just a lot of people in general, we end up wanting to follow what's trending, or we all feel like we need to do stuff to make us feel like we're famous or make us feel like we're somebody, when in reality, a lot of people are detached from their true self, okay, and there's a problem with the young men and young women of this generation, okay? Now, I want to say, first off, whatever I'm telling you guys, I'm also telling myself, okay? Because I don't want to be hypocritical, okay? So, as far as the men go, it seems like men are really not men in this generation, okay? And... A lot of guys these days end up doing hella drugs, wanting to party all the time, wanting to wear all the fly shit ever, or want to be the guy with all the hoes, all the bitches, and just everything, okay? Like, you just that dude, right? But you don't even know who you really are, okay? And at the end of the day, none of that shit really matters. And... If you have people who worship you for shit like that, they don't give a fuck about you. Nine times out of ten, they don't even know who the hell they are themselves, okay? So, I think that in order for this stuff to change, it starts with self, obviously, you know? Like, how can we change somebody else if we're not changing ourselves, okay? Now, if any of y'all are willing to come along with me on this journey... To enlightenment or to better ourselves because if you go check some of my other videos, yo, you'll know I ain't no saint myself. I've had a lot of struggles, I've had a lot of problems, you know. And at one point in my life, I used to think that I was just the shit and that dude. Whenever the people around me truly didn't give a fuck about me. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, look, it's time now to start being men. It's time now to start being kings. Okay? Get off all of that punk ass shit. That you've been on. And get on your grown man shit. You know, you want to be a gangster, this and that. Let me tell you what an OG told me. He said, what's being gangster nowadays is being a family man. Taking care of your business. Taking care of your kids. Taking care of your family. That's as much the most gangster you can get. You know what I'm saying? Just because you pulling guns, having drugs, selling drugs, and having all the women. Bro, that shit is not righteous at all. You and I both know that. It's not cool. And you just really... Putting a lot of toxic shit on your soul and on your image, okay? To be honest, when it comes to how somebody views a man, you know, they focus on your image and your word, okay? A man ain't shit if he can't live up to his word, right? So, it's time, brothers. It's time. It really is time, yo. And... I noticed that a lot of young men my age wouldn't be talking about shit like this, which is why I don't hang out with a whole bunch of people my age. I've always got along with the older people because, you know, I'm old sold after all, but I mean, I just, I don't have time to be around people who pretend like they're your boys and shit and turn around and do some snake ass shit behind your back, you know what I'm saying? So, perk up kings, it's really time, bro. You really want to be a king? You really want to be a man? Let's get on top of our shit, yo. Let's stop wasting time, bro. These women need us out here, bro. Divine masculine plus divine feminine. We need that shit. We need that to balance out, okay? So let's be there for our kids, bro. Let's be there for our wives, our girlfriends. Let's do it, man. Because it's going to pay off in the end. It's going to pay off in the long run. Okay? Now, ladies. Bruh, 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 bruh. Ladies of my generation, look, y'all just a toe up as the men too, okay? Now, 
What the hell is up with this only fan shit, first of all? Now, see, I'm bad enough because I shouldn't be knowing about only fans, but unfortunately, I'll be on social media at times. Just highly toxic for you. Ladies, understand your worth. Realize your worth. You don't gotta sell your body. You don't gotta shake your ass in order to get attention. Personally, a guy like me, hell no, nah, my girl better not be doing any of that shit on social media. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you females really do that shit and don't get paid from it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I can't knock you, you know what I mean? Get your money by any means, but know your worth, you know? A lot of you females settle for less, okay? Whenever y'all are divine feminine, y'all the superior ones, and y'all know that. Y'all got so much power. Did you know that women are a portal to the spiritual world? Y'all give birth to babies. Think about that one. You know, y'all have a lot of responsibility just as the men do out here. But, I mean, everybody comes from a woman, you know? So, really, I feel like it's time for you ladies to open up your eyes, okay? This is coming from a young guy, probably around your age or a little bit younger or older. There are still good guys out here, too, as well. Not all of us just want to get up in your pants, okay? Understand that, okay? And... Recognize who you hanging around too. A lot of those females that you chilling with, that you think are your homegirls, really ain't your homegirls. They really want to fuck your man behind your back. If they ain't already doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know exactly what women go through because obviously I'm not a woman. Okay? But I was raised by women. I have two older sisters and my mother raised me. All by themselves, okay? So... <clears throat> I know a little bit what it's like being a woman because I know you guys go through a lot of emotions, you know, hormones and whatever else y'all go through, you know, but set a good example for your daughters out there, yo. These young girls, they need us. They need both their parents in their lives, okay? And you being a mother, you being a woman, you're not just here to repopulate or recreate. Okay? You are here to guide and to teach and to raise the men and women or young men and women of the world that we live in. Okay? And I know it gets hard sometimes, baby girl. I know it gets hard, you know. You know, it seems like nobody may love you or nobody may want you at times. Or you might feel like you're not pretty or beautiful enough. But I'll tell you right now. A real man is going to know what's in your mind and what's in your heart. Now it's on the outside, because that can only last for so long, okay? So, keep your head up, mamas, okay? Stay perked up, stay strong. Don't let none of these fool-ass dudes fool you, okay? You got it. You a winner, you a queen, you are beautiful, all right? So, I just wanted to come by and um, talk a little bit about people in my generation or, you know, what I really recognize in the world today, you know, it's time to stand up and be the true kings, queens, gods, and goddesses that we really are, that we were put here to be. I'm down to do it. You down with me? Alrighty. All right, y'all. I want to say peace, love. Oh, look, a tree. Hey, tree. Namaste, y'all.